Uh, my name is Steven Silver. I'm a character designer and teacher in the animation industry. Now I think, you know, we're living in a different time, of course. I was learning how to draw when there was just, there was no internet. There was just like, you grab magazines, you went to the bookstore, you grab books, and this is where you found the knowledge, and there was this thirst for that. And now there's so much artwork out there that it's scary. I know it's scary. You, you guys go on Instagram and Facebook and you see all these amazing artists and you go, there's no way I can do this. How am I gonna compete? And it's scary. The reality is you can compete. Steven exemplifies the type of artist that we want our students to be. So we wanted him to be here for some, primarily as an example of who to be and also as the artists that we feel in the art department that our students should look up to. I get a lot of people who say, who ask, am I too old to start now? You know, all of a sudden they've turned 35, they think they're too old. They're 40, they think they're too old. They're even 26, 25, they think they're too old. And the fact of the matter is, you're never too old. Steven is uh, really interesting. He's kind of like a dad, <laughs> where he's like teaching you some life lessons, you know, on discipline and how to um, have like a success driven mindset. But I can honestly say you're in an art school, you're doing yourself a disservice if you're not going to the figure drawing class. And even if you don't think you can do it, you should totally go. You have to go. Why? Because life drawing, it just teaches you so many things. I mean, it teaches you about composition. It teaches you about the staging. It teaches you about lighting. It teaches you about perspective. It teaches you about balance. It teaches you everything that you should want to know and do so and any of you guys who are in um, want to get into animation whether it's getting into concept design storyboard animation if you're not doing life drawing you will suffer so what I'm doing right now is I'm just I want to draw just big and bold and I'm just trying to get my shapes I'll draw a head shape I like to draw for the uh, the bodies, I'm just blocking in the shape, like almost like a triangular shape through there, and just trying to find that flow and bold and just moving. So I just want to get this nice flow. And notice how I'm not lifting up my hand. I'm just sort of just moving around through here, just trying to find that. And then afterwards I can come if I want to just add any sort of extra little details if I have a little bit more time. The most things that inspired me actually is his motivation, uh, his persistence, his dedication. But it helps me to understand the fundamental how to become an artist, not just only for your artwork skills, but for your character and attitude. No right or wrong, don't worry about perfection. Because if, again, if you were worried about perfection, you know, even as I'm messing around at this point, um, I. I, I think it would just, it would stop me. It would halt me in my tracks because every time I got one wrong shadow, one wrong line, I'd feel the pressure and I'd be like, man, you know, and I'd get frustrated. And that's all I'm trying to do. And that's why I sort of like treat figure drawing for me as almost, it really is a form of uh, therapy for me. It's just, it's so relaxing and, and fun. And I think if anything in the beginning phase, what if you guys are starting out with figure drawing, draw big, that's it. Just don't draw tiny. Seeing somebody who started out with a different background, moving through portraiture, moving through doing airbrushing, and they went through a lot of different stuff, really helped encourage me to keep moving forward and attaining my goals. Construction is gonna be the, the golden key. If you can construct, if you know how to put your forms together, if you can draw forms and understand forms and drawing, that's your golden ticket to be able to draw in every single style that you want to be able to draw in. I feel like when you have someone that's in the industry telling you this stuff, saying that you can do it, it, it just feels really good. So what's needed in your characters, you got to have, you know, it's character, it's personality, it's clarity, construction and organization. And these are really just the, the five main things that you always want to make sure that you maintain and have with, again, this is the same thing with props and backgrounds. Uh, just if you can try to implement these things into your designs, it's going to be a lot, you're going to be a lot more better off. So chase those things. You know, this has been the most amazing experience I've had, especially with the school. We have so many teachers that are constantly pushing 
pushing for these kinds of things and want us to really work hard and then to see Stim and Silver say the same things, it's like really validating and then it's just amazing. All I have ever done is enjoyed what I ever do. My mind was open, my mind was clear. I did not stop to think of fear. I open up my mind, think of an idea, put it into action and see what will appear. It can never be a failure because I learned along the way. If I did not succeed, I'll try another day. Stay calm and smile, enjoy the things you do. Life will get much better as long as you are you.